Strategically positioned on the Horn of Africa, Somalia is a country that carries great geopolitical importance. A turbulent election process and fragile security situation has tensions on edge in the East African nation. We sat down with Somalia's top diplomat, Mohamed Abdi Rizek, to discuss this and more. I'm Yusuf Aram, and you're watching One on One. Somalia, a very, very important country in the Horn of Africa, uh, geopolitically placed. And of course, uh, our viewers are very interested to know what's going on in your country. Now, uh, recently, Somalia is preparing for elections, uh, and this led to violence in Mogadishu in April. How is the progress right now regarding the election process? First of all, thank you uh, for having me, and I'm very happy to be here in Antalya for the Antalya Diplomacy Forum. Um, the, with regard to the elections in Somalia, there were some um, disagreements and challenges, uh, not only in April, but over the months leading uh, to that point where there was uh, skirmishes in the city. Um, Thank God, now uh, things have been uh, agreed on. The leaders of the federal government of Somalia, the president, the prime minister, um, as well as the leaders of the federal member states and opposition have come to an agreement, uh, an agreement that was uh, among Somalis. And um, the prime minister is leading uh, the efforts uh, for the election management and security and so forth. Uh, committees and all the provisions that have to uh, be prepared for elections uh, are well underway and uh, it is going very well. Uh, we're at the Antalya Diplomacy Forum. You're going to have a lot of bilateral meetings as well on the margins of the forum and one of those bilateral meetings is going to be with your Turkish counterpart, Foreign Minister Mevlüt Çavuşoğlu. Now Turkey and Somalia have enjoyed very good relations over the past years. What will be some of the issues that you'll be discussing uh, with the Turkish foreign minister and uh, what are the important issues for Somalia uh, regarding uh, its relationship with Turkey? Um, that is true. I will be meeting with the foreign minister. Uh, he was in fact supposed to come to Somalia, um, but unfortunately due to unforeseen circumstances uh, that has been postponed and that invitation is still extended and we hope to have him. Uh, we will be discussing a general issues. Uh, we, as you know, Turkey and Somalia have uh, cooperation on many uh, areas, including security, uh, development, humanitarian, uh, economic and investment. And so we will be touching on all of those issues to review our bilateral relations and how to strengthen it. Now Somalia, Kenya relations, this has been very important. This has been in the news and something that uh, many people have been following very closely. Uh, Somalia recently committed itself to reestablishing ties with Kenya. Uh, what's been driving the tensions between these two countries and are these issues resolved right now? Where does that relationship currently stand? Uh, thank you. That's an important question. The relations between Somalia and Kenya um, have deteriorated um, to the point where Somalia cut off the diplomatic ties uh, with Kenya. Um, and uh, this was due to a number of grievances that the Somali government had against the government of Kenya. Um, these issues, uh, both countries have agreed to restore uh, diplomatic relations and to discuss uh, these issues in detail once these uh, uh, ties are, are restored. Uh, so what we can hope uh, going forward is to improve our relations uh, and, and discuss issues of security and trade and, and you know, people to people movement. Uh, these are two countries uh, that will forever be neighboring. Um, and uh, we cannot afford to have uh, relationships that are uh, not working. So we, we are committed to, to, to working with our Kenyan parks. Having said that, uh, the issues that we want to discuss with Kenya and the issues that Kenya wants to discuss with us have to be uh, dealt with and resolved in a serious uh, manner. I also want to ask about the maritime issues uh, between 
Somalia and Kenya as well. What's the current status of that and what type of resolution is Somalia seeking to these maritime issues in court, outside of court, negotiated bilaterally? What is the roadmap for Somalia? Uh, the issue of the maritime has been ongoing for uh, close to a decade now. And um, it has been um, with the courts, International Court of Justice. And um, we are awaiting all arguments, oral arguments, everything has been completed. Uh, the ruling is only uh, what is left. Uh, so I think that is best left to the courts. Uh, but once uh, that decision is made, Somalia and Kenya would still uh, discuss uh, cooperation and good neighborliness. Now there's a UN report uh, that says Somalia uh, that says Somalia sent soldiers to fight in Tigray uh, but your government denies this uh, is there any truth to these allegations or is this just the media uh, releasing misinformation there's a lot of misinformation uh, we have talked about this in different forums. Uh, most recently, uh, to satisfy this issue, the Prime Minister has appointed a, a committee consisting of uh, uh, military and, and diplomats to look into the matter and to, to, to get to the real truth to, to, to provide it uh, to the people of Somalia. Also, now Somalia conducted major operations against the Al-Shabaab terror group and most recently uh, we're seeing an increase in counterterrorism operations by Somalia. Where exactly does Somalia stand right now in its war against terror? What's the current situation and the, sec the security situation inside Somalia? Uh, look, um, the fight against uh, terrorism in Somalia has been ongoing uh, for a number of years. Um, the Somali National Army and Somali security forces in general have done a tremendous job in confronting Al-Shabaab and rolling back uh, their influence in many areas. Uh, this was not uh, possible without the cooperation of our friends, um, and um, including Turkey, uh, which trains uh, a number of uh, Somali uh, troops, uh, built an academy in Somalia, as you're aware, and the support that Turkey has provided to Somalia has been great. Uh, we also have uh, Amisom uh, troops uh, coming from a number of uh, African countries, both troops and, and police. Um, and, and we have other bilateral uh, uh, friends that have contributed to the issue of the, of the security. Um, now, this has led to Al-Shabaab increasing its attacks and soft targets in the capital. As you may have heard uh, just a couple of days ago, um, Al-Shabaab attacked uh, a line of uh, people trying to be recruited to sign up for military. Um, unfortunately, 20 plus uh, have died on the spot. Many others were injured, but that never stopped. And this is the spirit and the resilience of the Somalis in confronting Al-Shabaab. And the recruitment went on and concluded as scheduled. And many people still signed up uh, to fight against Al-Shabaab. What you're talking about is the operations that are ongoing in the middle Shabele currently. Uh, the two regions that operations have been taking place is Lower Shabele and Middle Shabele. And those are uh, proceeding uh, very successfully. Uh, our military has the upper hand and we will defeat Al-Shabaab, inshallah. Inshallah. Uh, the, earlier this month, the Somalian Prime Minister met with the UAE ambassador to Somalia. Now, your country has had frosty ties with the United Arab Emirates. Is this a sign that relations between Somalia and Abu Dhabi are warming up? Listen, um, some of these uh, are meetings that take place. Uh, these are routine uh, ambassadors uh, meet with the foreign minister, meet with uh, the prime minister and others. Uh, but to answer your question, um, we are interested in uh, revitalizing and re-energizing our uh, foreign relations uh, with with all countries uh, regardless of what has been uh, in the past uh, we need to to look in, into this and see how we can have a positive equal productive relationship with all countries now i know you're very busy we've taken a lot of your time so i just have one last question before you move on to your bilaterals and panels 
Now, the African Union mission is due to leave Somalia at the end of this year. Is your country ready to take over its own security given the threat posed by al-Shabaab? What, what is the readiness level of the Somalian armed forces and its security services? There is something called a uh, Somali transitional plan, uh, a plan that uh, moves security responsibility from Amazon to Somali security forces. And uh, this plan has been approved, uh, has been looked at by Amisom, the United Nations, and the Somalis. It will put Somali forces and Somali leadership in the front uh, in the defeat against Al-Shabaab and the rebuilding and putting the whole security responsibility on Somalis. If we follow that uh, plan, that Somali transitional plan, yes, ultimately Somalis have to take the responsibility, the full responsibility for its own country. Somalian Foreign Minister Mohamed Abdelrazak, thank you for setting aside time for TRT World. Thank you for having me.